Aries, welcome to this just in time love tarot reading. And if you are watching this, trust that there is a message here for you in love, past, present, or future. And that message begins with this could be the one, Aries. Didn't you know you've already met the romantic partner you seek? Now, Aries, you know, if you've gone through some indecision here, right? And you know, you're feeling triggered by this person at times, just know that that's exactly what relationships are there for. But we are there to learn and grow from each other. And, you know, we, we might spend the first few years going through that process, but trust me, you know, it really can, you know, result in something beautiful. Now, if you're not with this person, it feels like you've already met the person that you're going to be with, Aries. Okay, what else do we have then? A reconciliation. Well, there you go. I mean, someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, okay, I know that some of you will be rolling your eyes right now. This this can also be a past life connection. And what that means is that when you meet them, you just have that feeling of, I've known you for ages, right? Yet some of you are reconciling. Some of you are. Or some of you uh, might be reconciling within yourself because you've had doubts, okay? So that's not just a message for people that have broken up and, you know, getting back together. You're, you're, recon you're reconciling maybe some doubts within yourself about, you know, committing further with this person, Aries. Okay, let's put it over to Moonology and see for... Aries. Oh, I've got two actually. So this is interesting. I'll, I'll honor that. I've got you are good enough, Aries. So there could have been some doubts. There could have been some insecurities. There could have been some self-esteem things bubbling to the surface. Like relationships will we'll bring that out in us for sure. And I have don't let your past hold you back. This is actually a past life card. And, you know, if you know where the south node is in your birth chart, Aries, it would be worth uh, having a look. You can get a free birth chart online. Uh, Cafe Astrology is one that I know of. And they say that where your, your south node is, right, the house that that falls in, then you'll then need to look up about that house, is where you're not meant to, where you're not meant to travel in this life. Then look at where your north node is. That's where you're to go. And you can interpret that for, for love and relationships. Don't let your past hold you back. It could be don't let your past relationships hold you back. Don't imprint it on this one, Aries, because this could be the one. So you're not wanting to, you know, like create the same cycle here. You know, like bring the same energy in. Because, you know, this could be the one. This could be the one. I mean, that first card says it all really, doesn't it? Shall we end the reading there, Aries? No, we'll keep going. Okay. All right. We've got the universe. Okay. This is actually the, the very last major arcana. And uh, what this is, is really a spiritual graduation card in this context. So don't let your past hold you back. You've actually graduated from those type of relationships or that cycle. This is about a whole new cycle happening, okay? And you're being asked to step into it vulnerably and powerful, powerfully. Now, this is the card, Aries, that comes after judgment. This is the last major arcana. Judgment's the second to last one. Remember when I said you're trying to reconcile within yourself? I think you got to the point where you're trying to make a powerful judgment call. Am I all in or am I, am I not? Maybe you've had a few tough cycles with this person, either known or in a past life. And I think you're at this point, well, okay, this is the last call. But when you desi decide on something, Aries, you know, you're usually pretty all in, aren't you? All right, let's get another one. The five of pentacles. Yeah, because I do feel that there was uh, some disconnection here. You might have gone through a phase where you were feeling alone in this connection. Maybe you need to work through some things, Aries, from your shadow side. Remember, you're good enough. There could have been some fear of abandonment or, you know, self-worth or, you know, how you felt about yourself. You might have even had time out from this situation. But the five is an important point of change here as well. Let's not forget... Could even have been financial issues that were impacting things there as well with that one. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, powerful forward movement after making a big decision, a big judgment call. This is an energy of determination. You are the Queen of Wands and the Emperor, also a very strong determined energy to go after a victory. 
Okay, so that's what I feel, Aries. Yeah, you're moving back towards this from a renewed perspective. I'm feeling a rebirth. Let's see if the Empress comes through. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, we've got the Ten of Cups instead. I'll take it. So the Ten of Cups is this beautiful energy of committing to a longer term future with this person. Now, it's the energy of family, home, um, you know, harmony and living. Like it's the, it's the ultimate of the cup suit, Aries, which is all about love and all about relationships. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. You know me, I am a realist. But what it's saying is this could be the one that you journey with, that you work on the shadows, that you work through the trauma, you know, that you, you get over that pattern of letting your past hold you back. This is a beautiful energy of someone who has your back, uh, you know, and is really part of your soul family. Eight of Wands. Okay, well, we'll make that our last one. This is a, a change in direction here, which is what I'm feeling. Also, with the, the Chariot Eight of Wands, some of you might have either had separation, you might not live together, or you might be in different places from each other, and this would be about that coming back. The Eight of Wands is about communication. It is about, you know, passion. It's, there's a lot of energy still moving here between you. And this is the swift turnaround, the swift, the swift change. So, that's what I have for you, Aries. This could be the one you've been trying to reconcile within yourself or reconcile the relationship. There's been a past pattern that has been holding you back. Uh, you can look into that. Look where your south node, north node placements are in your astrology. You might also want to do some inner child or shadow work as well to determine where that is because it's had you feeling sort of alienated or alone in a relationship. But things are, you know, things are changing here. We've got the Ten of Cups. We've got some long-term ha term happiness and we have a lot of forward movement and victory on this connection. So I'll leave it there. Aries, if you'd like a personal reading, first link below will take you to my website where you can check out what I offer. And do follow me on Instagram for daily readings. And I'm doing free little mini personal readings as well. But you'll need to be there and following, checking my story for when I put the call out. Aries, this could be the one. Wishing you all the best with it. Bye for now.